All right, guys, going right into your message straight after Gemini's, which was a super long message. I just couldn't stop getting that person. I want to jump right into this one. This is for Cancer or Cancer Cross Watcher. Take it as it resonates. You can also reverse this. But while it's on my head, here's what's happening for whoever this is for. Someone here, you probably just simply would like, I mean, whether you care or not, if you get it, meaning like you're letting it eat you alive or bother you, I don't think that you are, in fact, but you would probably like an apology, like a genuine one from someone. Whew. I started to feel sick in Gemini's. I don't feel sick in this one, but I'm like really tense or something. Anyway, maybe that's it. Something between you and another got tense, but you, would, you wouldn't mind if this person gave you a sincere apology or a heartfelt type, you know, just something, just something to show you that this person feels and has, you know, or I don't know. This could be reversed, but this person knows that however things were with you, however they operated or handled things before, they cannot, they can no longer, no longer handle. I'm hearing it as handle you. I don't like the way they say that, but handle you the way that they've handled you before. Or they can no longer handle a situation with you the way that they have been known to handle it before. Why? Probably because you're not going to put up with it. You're just not going to deal with it. You simply won't talk to them. You won't have anything to do with them. You won't. Whatever it is, okay? They know this, whether they know it because you've told them or you've told someone else and they heard through the grapevine or they just, there's something about you like they know that however things were before, it will never, and I mean never, be allowed again. It will never, ever, ever be allowed again. Maybe you're going to stand your ground. Maybe you'll fight back. I mean, I don't know who this is and what they did and how they handled a situation with you before. And before it could be a while ago. It could have been recent. So right now, currently, I think this is a person who's trying to decipher. Maybe I should say that they're trying to decipher. Desi. So I'm going to do a Desi because when I look at Decipher, I see Desi. D E C I. Anyway, Desi, Desi, Desi. When, Desi, like Desi Lou. Isn't that the guy from like I Love Lucy? Maybe somebody took something as it was like they didn't take it serious enough. Because I think of Lucy, I think of I love Lucy, by the way. <laughs> Pun intended. I love her. Um, I don't know, something to do with humor here, thinking something's funny, or just not taking it seriously enough, how much it maybe something affected you or impacted you or whatever. I mean, this could be anybody. This could be someone in your family, anyone. This could be anyone, genuinely. Um, they're trying to currently decipher how to handle a situation with you now, meaning that would imply that someone is still, like they know they have to, they have to, or they should. They at least know they should. So that's kind of nice. I mean, at least that, you know, why though? I'm not really sure. I'll give an example. Now this example is just the first thing popping in my head. It doesn't have to be actually what anyone's going through. Let's say you work with somebody and whoever it is that you work with, could be the boss themselves, could be an employee, could be a co-partner, whatever it is. They know that they handled a situation with you poorly. And they know, maybe by your actions, maybe by the fact that you didn't come in today, I mean, I don't know what it is, they know they can't do that anymore. <laughs> mm -mm. They can't talk to you like that, or they can't um, call out like that, or whatever the situation is. They can't let it escalate like that. So now they're trying to decipher, like, how should I handle this situation? Because I'm going to have to see them again. We work together. See what I'm saying? So there's that. It could be a family dynamic. Um, you know... Uh, maybe a relationship, maybe exes, maybe a new love interest, maybe even a friend. Either way, someone's like, they have a couple of ideas of how, mm, or even plans on how they can almost like approach you, but they're, they know that they can't do it how they did it before. What's up with the shoulder? Whew. It's like I need a massage, like I'm telling you right now. I need a massage or some icy hot, or I need a good bath, or I need some acupuncture, or I need a chiropractor, or something like that. Like, I need some sort of adjustment. And I mean, yeah. 
someone's going to have to adjust. They're going to have to adjust the way that they treat you. They're going to have to adjust the way that they speak to you or parent or discipline or um, show love, how they come in. And, I, and, you know, what's nice is that they're willing, I mean, they're willing to do that. So that's nice. Um, unless they're just doing it because they have to, right? Like, uh, which is fine. It, this feels like someone who's non-confrontational. I don't know. I don't mean they are always like that. Some of you, this person's not confrontational. Some of you, they are confrontational and they're just trying to be nice for the day. I don't know. But um, you've got somebody here basically for whoever this message is for that um, feels like they want to maybe like work on something with you, work through something with you. Uh, like they want things to be okay. Is it coming from an emotional place? I'm not quite sure. I don't feel it. Maybe. I don't think so. And I think that's the reason I say that is I think you're coming from an emotional place. It feels more like you are, just like Gemini's did. Um, this person is more like, it's because I have to, because I need to, because I should. It's more about um, mm, principle instead of like heart. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, mm, I feel like, uh, like, let's say someone does owe you an apology for something or an explanation for something, or maybe even like, uh, payback for something. They, it's almost like I need to, so, you know, there's no drama or I need to, so I don't get sued or I need to, so they don't, so there's no bad blood between us. Which, fine, fine. I respect that to a degree. Fine, whatever. I mean, depending on who this person is, maybe there doesn't need to be any heart in it. But, I mean, I feel like you would you would take that if it was just somebody just said, damn, I'm sorry. Or, you know, maybe admitted something or was, you know, I could have treated you better. Yeah. Whatever. In whatever way. Vice versa. Um, but I don't know. You know? Like, let's say, I'm just going to throw this out there. Let's say it's someone from the past, Okay. And this person uh, may have been real harsh on you or something. That doesn't mean y'all fought or there was drama, but they were too harsh on you or judgmental or um, cold. They feel a little cold to me. This person kind of reminds me of Gemini's, but way different. Still way different. That one had, whoa, that one. I was like, is that a person? Like, is it a person? This one, yeah, I can tell, but... Um, this person feels like they're more about being professional or they're more about business, or if not that, it's... Uh, emotions don't come easy for this person. Do they have them? Probably. It feels like they do, but... Uh, they push it way down. Like, way, way down. Uh, like, so far down, it's like... It's gotta be dug out, like an ingrown toenail or something, you know what I mean? Like, they push it way, 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 way down. So, uh, they may want to pick up something because I'm looking at my floor and I'm like, I need to pick some shit up. My cats are in the cabinets. You can hear them. They love to get in the cabinets. I don't understand how cats know how to open cabinets. They're intelligent. Yeah. So, you know, I see, and this person's smart too. They're very smart as well as you. So I'm looking at the, I'm like, I need to pick up this room. I need to pick up my space, which I already started this morning. I woke up and that was one of the first things I did was I started picking up stuff, but I didn't finish. And I'm looking at it now. Like I need to, you know, something that this person didn't finish. Maybe they feel like there was no closure here or something where something left off. They didn't want it to leave off this way. Like we need to talk about this or we need to, we need to work through this and I'm determined I just have to figure out a better way to do this or something. I don't know. I don't really know. Um, I mean, think of it as like a parent, you know, like if a parent gets on to 
a child or a teacher even a teacher and they may they may have said something or done something that was just it wasn't the best way to handle something whether they neglected it altogether did nothing or whether they were too harsh or whether they belittled someone or showed favoritism I mean I don't know and then they may think okay I cannot handle it like that anymore because of the outcome like how it ended or whatever so now I, I definitely can't handle discipline that way anymore or I can't handle um, when I show, try to show love and affection for someone I can't handle it that way or I can't abandon because clearly, you know, when someone may not know how to handle something, they may run away from it or go quiet or go ghost or I don't know. I can't handle it that way anymore. So now I have to figure out better ways to approach the situation. That's it. See what I'm saying? We've all been there. Like this message is super, it, it can go any way. Like I think we can all relate to it. But that's where someone's at right now with you. Whether or not you know it, I don't know. You may be in contact with this person. Some of you are, some of you are not in contact with each other. And um, yeah. I don't question this person's intentions like I did the one in Gemini. Somebody in Gemini's was like, I definitely question that person's intentions. This one, this is a person, this is someone who, <sighs> but I don't know. I, uh, I felt like, uh, maybe, maybe this individual thought that like the way they handle things and the way that they were and the way they speak to you and the way they treat you and how they talked to you before, how they, I feel like they judged you or something, or I don't know, and I don't know why it feels like that, like things you need to change, but me over here, I don't have to really, you know, it's all about, like maybe they think that they were smarter because they, because of their beliefs or because of their status, like I don't know, maybe not, but I'm getting that, oh my god, it's my alarm, sorry, <laughs> caught me off guard this better. I changed the alarm sound because it was getting on my nerves. Isn't this better? It's much more pleasant. Oh, see? Someone's going to change it up. They're going to change up how they approach you or how they approach you again. Or this is you about to change up how you approach someone. Maybe last time you were too harsh and now you're going to be sweeter. I don't know. But that's that's it. I just changed the freaking alarm last night because I said, okay, today I'm going to record and I don't like when my alarm goes off or my, my timer and it's that I mean, I liked it for a while, but it's, I'm tired of it. You know, it works when it works, and then when it don't work anymore, it don't work no more. This one is nice. It's soothing. It's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's much more well-received, right? So I think that's the case here. Someone here is like, what am I going to do with you? Whatever I'm going to do with you, it can't be anything like I did before. I have to be kinder, or I should be kinder. I should show you maybe even like what you mean to me. Still not knowing if they're going to tell you they're sorry or those actual words are going to come out, even if it's something that you'd like to hear. Like, you know, I'm sorry for the way I came off last time, or I'm sorry for not doing anything. I'm sorry for not saying anything. I'm sorry for not replying, or I'm sorry for letting you walk out of my life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whatever it is. Um, I'm not sure you're going to get it. I'm sorry. But you will get someone, or I'm sorry for what I said, or I'm sorry for overreacting. Maybe they didn't do anything to you, but they did something that affected you. See what I'm saying? Maybe they didn't do something directly to you, but what they did directly affected you. And they didn't consider something like that, right? And, um, you know, maybe it wasn't someone's intention the way that something turned out or is turning out. Now, that ain't going to be for all of you because some, some of you, that was definitely somebody's intention, but not for everybody and not for this one. Um, yeah, what am I going to do with you? I don't know what I'm going to do with you, but I know I need to talk to you. Like, imagine someone, like, here's an example. Imagine someone who was raised in a family full of men, and it was just all men all the time. Like, I can attest, because same, right? I was the only girl, except for my mama. And, um, yeah, and so let's say, um, let's say it's a house full of boys, no girls at all. So someone doesn't know how to treat a woman, right? Now that is, I'm not saying because men are raised or anybody's raised in a house full of men, they don't know how to treat a woman. I'm just using an example. Let's say that's the scenario. And they get with someone who, I don't know, would like a little more emotion or someone to be less 
judgmental of them or I don't know handle them differently than they would you know a man or something and this person just doesn't know how so they handle it a certain way or they're used to handle it maybe they grew up in a certain culture and they're used to talking to people like this or you know I don't know and and then they but, but you're not everybody you're not everybody you're you and you are important and you do mean something to this person and they just I don't know maybe you're teaching this person cancer you're teaching them or you already taught them you taught them that they can't handle situations the way they handled it or you know that maybe they should consider you when they make a decision that like when they made this choice that it would affect you or it would affect the family or it would affect you know what I mean it's something like that here and I think it I think someone is seeing it I do think someone's learned a lesson but it probably learned it the hard way because they never intended for you to get hurt at something like that someone did not intend for you to get hurt by their actions or their inaction but you did for whoever this one's for and I think this person's a work in progress I think they're working on themselves I also think that they weren't used to you. I gotta be honest, like I really don't, I, I feel like this person isn't used to people like you, whatever that fucking means. However you treated this person or however you just are, your natural self, your nature, they're not used to that. Maybe you're really honest and they're used to liars. Maybe you are nurturing and caring and really giving and they're not used to that. So it's take, 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 you know, I don't know. Maybe you're really independent and you have a mind of your own and you're, um, powerful in and of yourself but this person's used to only their their people being powerful or something like that like men or something you know what I mean and so they may not look at you like that but now they're starting to see okay that's like, I don't know I think somebody cares about you a little more than you think right or maybe it was that they're older than you and they looked at you like oh you're younger even if they didn't realize that's what they were doing you know I don't know but um you might have taught someone a lesson even though you didn't do anything. It was their actions that taught them a lesson. You getting hurt is what taught them a lesson because, or the connection ending or this, there being this tension now, like wherever it is now with you and someone, that is this result, this outcome was not someone's intention. To lose you was never the intention or to lose the respect of you or the love of you or the support of you or to hurt you in any way was not the intention. And I think you would be receptive to that if someone would just kind of like, I don't know, maybe approach you differently or make something right with you or show a little emotion in there. You know, that, that means a lot. If someone just has an emotion, now it depends on what someone does. It depends on what someone does. But um, if you can see emotion and that someone is genuine and they're sorry or that they've, you know, they just didn't know. Sometimes you just don't know till you know and you learn the hard way, you know. Take it from somebody who knows. And that's not a flex. I, I wished that I had been the type of person that would learn more from other people's mistakes than having to make them all myself and being that stubborn. You know, there is a saying about that. I don't know who said it, and I don't know if I'm going to probably butcher this, but it's something like, learn from other people's mistakes because you don't know how long you're going to live to make them all yourself. Yeah, my ass didn't. Didn't. Well, one, I didn't hear that saying till way later. And two, I'm just a fucking stubborn ass bitch, you know, really. Yeah, that's, that's just me. So, or it was. Now I'm much more uh, careful. I feel like someone here wasn't careful. They weren't careful with what they said or they weren't careful with your feelings. They weren't careful with their actions that affected you. Like they weren't careful with something and they didn't consider, I'm sorry, but I feel like someone didn't consider you unless it's reversed. We've all been there. We've all been there. None of us are innocent. I mean, we've all been there where we've said things or done things that affected someone else in a negative way that we didn't mean. It was not our intention. So, you know, and I think that they want to do the right thing. It's just a matter of 
maybe how, when, or what, or can I even, is it even possible? Some of them may not even know if it's possible, if this can be reconciled or if it can be, um, but yeah, I think it is. I, you know, and if you're sitting here watching this video and you're like, absolutely not, then this probably isn't your message. Cause if it's someone who's done something super egregious against you or that affected you or your family or your kids or whoever, that's different. That's fucking different. But somebody here just kind of wants, for whoever's going to resonate with this, somebody just wants some sort of, I don't know, maybe like accountability or some sort of, I'm actually sorry. But I don't see you sitting there, like whoever this message is for, I don't see you sitting there like it, it's stopping your life or stopping you from going forward and living and doing your own thing. No, no, not at all. Not at all. In fact, you probably have a lot of new things coming for you and you probably feel quite... Like, you, your heart feels full to me. I mean full. Your heart is full. You almost feel like you're born again in some way or you've been liberated in some way. Your energy is beautiful in this message. Like, if your your business could be booming, your um, you could be feeling better about yourself. You could be looking better. You could even have... Uh, new friendships, new relationships, or just better ones, stronger ones. You could be feeling like you're getting in touch with your inner child again and loving yourself the way that you'd hoped others did, but they just, you know, so you're learning to give you things that before maybe you thought you could share with another. I don't know. I don't feel like you're sitting here like twiddling your thumbs, you know, if you're with this person, I don't think you are, but if you are and any of you are in a relationship, you're with this person, know that your partner feels really bad about something. I'll tell you that they feel real bad about something. And, um, they gonna do something to make it up to you because they know that you don't need them. There's no other way to say that. They know that you don't need them. <laughs> Vice versa. You know, but yeah, especially if you're a feminine watching me, but you don't have to be, but, uh, even cancer itself, if you are a cancer, cancer is a feminine sign. All water signs are feminine and so are earth. So if you are a cancer, Scorpio or Pisces watching this or a Gemini, sorry, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, those are feminine signs. So, um, you know, you could be a feminine sign or a feminine energy, but yeah. Yeah, some of you there's an age difference. Now, let me specify when I say that an age difference. Um, several years. I want to say several years. If that's not the case, and there's not an age difference where there's several years, I feel like someone just didn't realize because of how you are and how together you are and how much you like, how much you kind of really don't need anybody and you take like. It's almost as if, especially if you're a woman, it's it's almost as if you have, you're like in charge is the words come to me. It's like you're so in charge in your own life that people forget that you still have a sensitive side to it. You still have a heart. You still need love and encouragement. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you have feelings too and you still have an inner child and you have needs and wants and, you know? It'd be like someone who, uh, let's say you're a nurse as an example, and someone is like just dumping on you and like blah, 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 but you're actually not, I'm not saying if you're not helping anybody, but if you are and you're doing everything you can, everything, it's like I'm everything I can to where you're like, literally you've got nothing left at the end of the day. And then you, you eventually have this breaking point where you're like, you know, goodbye. And they get really upset, but once they sit and think about it and they realize why you're not no longer helping them, it's because you're a person too at the end of the day and you have to go home to a family or you have bills to pay, you have your own traumas you're working through. You know what I'm saying? You're a person, just like they are. And you matter. Somebody knows you matter. You do matter. You matter a lot to this person. You've always mattered. If Even if it's in work, you matter very much to somebody because of um, how responsible you are and reliable you are. And they know that they can count on you. And you're they even probably, you're like the voice of reason for somebody here, maybe even. 
Um, they know that you're wise. They know you're smart. They know that you can take care of things single-handedly. So I'm going to leave this here. I really, really, I really, really, really like this message. I really like this message. I hate to repeat myself, but that's how much I like it. <laughs> For lack of better words right now, because I still haven't eaten, but I feel like I think better when I don't eat. Anyways, thank you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.